That type of thing to shake you up. I think all of us uh, have events in our life that were going to give us perspective. And I know that shook everybody out, up. And I don't, like I said, I don't think it bothered me for a day. It was just about going out of your business. I think about it all the time now, of just think what could have happened, or at value, you know, every time you go home, every hug with Kathleen, seeing the grandkids, seeing these kids at practice, it's, it's, it's a little different. I, I hope it never goes away, that I understand, you know, what it's like uh, to you gotta value what you have every single day. We talk about it, I preach it, and then I don't do it. Uh, I want to do it more. And now that you've won, how do you, this, this, this week, how do you value that? Well, I think that, uh, you know, winning has never been the thing that I really coached about. It was about, uh, I wanted to be a teacher and a coach. These guys know that, a social studies teacher, and, and help you know, be the mentor to people that the great, uh, my, that my parents were and that my teachers in high school were. I had tremendous mentors, and that's all I really wanted to do. So that's a real measure. If you get these championships, hey, that's, that's great stuff too. But uh, that's not the measure of our success. Um, it may be for you guys right now. That, that, will take it, that, that will happen if you try and do the right things. Zach Urban, the last five games, has really elevated this game. What's been the key to that, and, and how big has that been for you? I, th I think he's really just relaxed and let the game come to him and not pressed. But he's worked really hard. He's in the gym extra. When, when I want these guys off their feet, him and Duncan, right, don't li they listen to me a lot. They don't listen to me then. And he's in the gym just keep making another 100 shots. And uh, so he's, he's, he he's, was very disappointed with some games when we needed him to make big shots. He didn't. I think he probably heard the people that doubted him. Uh, I knew at some point he would, he would make some big plays. That lob pet play to DJ uh, uh, Wilson was a great play for us to just get big points. The, uh, with how odd this week was and kind of the emotions yeah. that you guys had, how do you bottle this and take it to Indianapolis? That, that I got to think about for two days. I got to think about first getting this rest, but then I think we'll continue the theme of let's have a great appreciation for each day and go attack each day like it's the last day we have. I think that's the best way to do it. That's what we've been doing. And um, you know, like I said, we, I don't think any of you guys here live your life like that, right? Until you have those type of experience, then you sort of appreciate it more. But somehow we got to do that, and I, that's what, I, what you have to do. But with business, will be normal. We'll have a hard practice. Uh, we'll watch a lot of film. And uh, we will uh, we'll make sure that they're well prepared for Oklahoma State. 35 games in, are you still learning things about this team? Yeah, I think, you know what, I would just with DJ's performance today, um, it, you know, we, we, we thought we might have to double half. But when you double half, when, when Koenig wasn't there, it was a big difference when we played him at our place. We really did not want to do that. DJ Wilson at halftime said, I want half. Right? Let's put DJ on. He said, I want half. That wasn't me. And what a difference what he did. But I, I had made the point uh, in the last couple of days with DJ and Mark that uh, that Zach and uh, and DJ, uh, Zach Irvin, were, were better post defenders at a, at a smaller size because they used their feet better. That Mark and uh, and Mo had to use their feet better. They'd be quicker against the big giants, the Haases and the Swanigans and guys like that. And uh, DJ did that. That's what I've just learned. DJ wouldn't think that way. And so, and everybody was with him. The last, the big three by Duncan when it get down to six, I did not call that play. You know, I was thinking of something else. They already had the play called because they love that play for him. And they called it and it went in. You don't have to learn about teams though this deep into the season, right? You don't have to learn yeah. things about this, I, this, this, this team's learning curve. You know, with Billy's defense, it, it, I think that was a big thing. We'll talk a lot about, you know, we, we talk about, is, is this, did this team not play as tough as they could some games? Right? There's no. Were they a tough team? That's 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 got to be measured. But there are some games where at, at game time we weren't as tough as we needed to be. So I think everything slowed down. I think that things slowed down, and we learned if you stay with it, all of a sudden Derek Welton seeing the court, like you know we had hoped he'd see the court. DJ seeing the court. Zach, it, it was a huge, just step up. Not not as much the intensity and defense, but just the game slowed down. And, and, uh, what you learn from that is don't give up, just keep working, keep to the fundamentals, and one day they'll get it. You just don't want it to be too late. Back in Madison, we talked about how you know, this terrible record against Wisconsin. And they're hey, thanks for tonight. reminding me. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, now that you've overcome them and you know, this final, yep. do you feel like you know, this team has a bit of invincibility with 
Okay. No, but here's the deal with Wisconsin. Again, their continuity has been incredible, whether it's coaching, whether it's philosophy, the whole thing. They play a big post-up team. It's a very different style, and they play post-defense, post-offense uh, really well. And that is something most teams do not practice a great deal because that is a bit of a dinosaur for some teams. Everybody's out, double drive, doing these things. That post-up is really good. So you got me thinking about that a little bit afterwards. And then they've always had experienced players. They had one guy go pro early since I've been here. One guy, right? And we've had six, I think, go early. It's a big difference. They've really been able to practice well, but they don't have significant injuries. You see, when Kenneth got hurt, the team changes. So they have great coaching staff and they have an incredible culture. And every college team should envy them because they get it done the right way. You know anything about the podium? You chose the words you said that you were going to tell your team about five years, ten years. Yeah, yeah. Why did you pick those words, and why, why was it kind of hard for you to get those words out? Um, because when I think back about it, like like I said, life just goes on. I, I I am I am really, you know, my birthday will come up, and somebody will remind me it's my birthday. That's just who I am. I don't think about these emotional things, and it was it was it was it was sobering to go through that experience. So then when I said, how am I going to get these guys to really go after this thing? That those three games. This story wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. So we said, I, I wanted them to imagine what it's going to look like to walk into that beautiful William Davidson Player Development Center and see their trophy and tell people about not the four games, the five days, and be able to tell them that story because that's part of their legacy forever, all 16 of those guys. John, what do you know about Oklahoma State? Very little right now, but we will, we'll be on it. We'll be on it. Uh, they really, I, I know they're, they're really, uh, uh, their numbers are high, I believe, but I, I don't watch a lot of other basketball if it's, not, if it's not Michigan or the next opponent. But I got a lot of respect for the Big 12 with all the great coaches in that league. Uh, we're going to, a 7-10 game is like, it's, this, it's the same two teams. It's the same two teams. Talk about the defensive effort as overall today. Yeah, to, to, that was one of the few times we held somebody under 40%. And everybody just really worked hard. We made touch. You know, when I looked at halftime, it looked like uh, that both Hap and Hayes had our number, and they, they both had eight. You know, and so it was, we did a great, it was, Kane, it was Koenig that was bothering us more than anything, because he was back on, really. He was hurt, I think, when they went through their tailspin, and he didn't play against us. So we tried to take him away. Don't give him any opportunities. So our defense is really, and this is Billy Donlin, Billy Donlin, Billy Donlin. He's got great thoughts on some things that are not schematic. They are just... Uh, let's emphasize this little thing here, right? More. Let's do this a little bit more, and uh, it will work out. Do you have time for a couple more? <clears throat> Let me take a drink. Brandon, give me this water. If we're yeah. Not. yeah. <laughs> All right. You're holding for me. Well, yeah, big ten guys give it to you. There's no more questions about Wisconsin. Right. Uh, on, on this night two years ago, you talked to us on a phone call, and you were or just about no NIT year or whatever, I don't even know yeah, if I talked yeah, to you, yeah. but the whole thing, like that year was just a, a lost year. At that point, was it hard to imagine, you know, something like this? Well, I, I didn't see it as a lost year. I saw it as a great <laughs> growth, growth experience for our guys. So we were dealt a hand, right? We were dealt a hand that was incredibly difficult to, to win, right? When you lose Derek and you lose Karis LeVert, that backcourt, right? One starting for the Nets and one is the MVP of this tournament, and you lose them, and you're out there trying to win. I was really proud of that 16 16 team because I thought they overcome, overcome things. But what has happened out of that, Zach became a better player out of that. He really became a better player. We all, Muhammad became a much better player out of that. And all of a sudden now, Derek has a new appreciation for the game because of being out. He was on a, he was on a mission. So I think it was the, the fertilizer that allowed us to grow. How do you describe this headspace that Derek is in right now? Uh, you know, I, we, we've had it with, uh, with other players, but I think it came easier to them to, to realize how good they were. He is such an unselfish young man. He just wanted to have other people uh, get score the points, and uh, he would just facilitate things. And uh, we weren't going to win if that was the, the, the situation. So we kept preaching it to him and preaching it to him. And right now he's running this team. But again, the game has slowed down for him, really. And that, that doesn't mean I've had this happen with seniors over and over again. You may say, oh, he's a senior, he's back to the wall, he's doing it. No, 
the game slows down for everybody at some point, and they become really elite players in that last year. It seems there, you know, before the tournament on the ride to the airport from the, yeah, yeah, to the Nebraska, to Nebraska, Nebraska game, yeah. made the guarantee, and for him to follow through, what does that yeah. mean to you? Well, it was a private guarantee, you know, to <laughs> me, but we didn't go blasting around, but I, I was shocked by it because we were just talking. We weren't talking about basketball. We were talking about life on the way out there, and then I said, Coach, we're going to win this tournament. I said, and I'm thinking about we got to beat Nebraska. So he said, I, he said we're going to win this tournament. So uh, we just talking about how, you know, who knows? I did mention I think we're in a, we're on the, the bubble, and uh, you know, we just, the, I might say this might be a good game or, to to get, to get another away win. I think we're talking about away wins. He said, Coach, I don't know what will happen, but we're going to win that tournament. We won't have to worry about getting in the NCAA. <laughs> Are you, getting, right, sorry, are you getting more confidence in X? It seems like he was a net positive yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, he's, he's understanding some things. When we, when we get to some, some extra things, he's still, you know, <coughs> going through some of the learning curve that everybody does. But I love his defense right now. And he, that time, the, the, the last night, right when he was in there today, he's done a really good job of picking up our defense. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, everybody.